marching band tradition. So a lot of Illinois ties to that piece. Those of you that were here last year, remember I went on like a was I like stand up in when I was talking about how my old professor won't answer my text when I won't try to get him to uh, work with the group? Um, it's honestly the same logic. This is, again, from a close history and ties to Northwestern. I reached out to one of the Northwestern professors in May, and then um, I saw him at a marching competition in September, and I sat down at the judges table with him, and he said, I owe you an email back, don't I? Um, all of which to say, um, the band director at Northwestern is going to come and work with this group um, on that march, so really excited for that opportunity. Okay, I've done enough talking. Again, uh, this next piece um, is a really special piece to me and this entire ensemble. Um, yes. um, those of you that have been keeping up with um, the district social media. I know that there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. Um, but we recently got the opportunity to collaborate with our Latin American student organization, LASO, um, this past Monday, just yesterday, actually. And, but this has been in the works for a couple months now. Um, shout out to Mr. Corzo, one of our awesome um, staff members here, who's the sponsor of uh, LASO and, let, and um, helped make this all happen. This next piece that you're about to hear is the Little Mexican Sweet by uh, Nubia Jaime Don Juan. Um, yesterday during AIM, the students, both the bands and also Lasso, gathered here in the auditorium basically as a celebration of Hispanic culture, Mexican culture, for Hispanic Heritage Month. So, to tell you about the piece are a number of our Hispanic, specifically Mexican students, in the ensemble. Um, they're going to tell you about the piece, take a lot of the composer, Nubia, her words, um, and share that all with you before we begin. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I'm Enrique. I'm a junior. Um, okay, here we go. Desde niña me interesa mucho por la música tradicional mexicana. Siempre llamó mi atención. Realmente podía emocionarme al escuchar un danzón o un son jarocho. Y afortunadamente, ese interés se ha convertido en parte fundamental de mi quehacer artístico. La mayoría de mis obras contienen un raíz nacional y en muchas ocasiones regional. Como es sabido, la música popular mexicana tiene muchas ramas que van desde el danzón hasta el mariachi. Cuando el doctor Messier se acercó a mí, de inmediato tuve el ferviente deseo de componer una suite para la banda sinfónica para sinfónica inspirada en género en los populares mexicanos. Ever since I was a child, I have been very interested in traditional Mexican music. It has always captured my attention. I used to get really excited to hear danzón or son jorocho, and fortunately, that interest has become a fundamental part of my artistic work. Most of my works contain a national and often regional root. As is well known, Mexican music has many branches ranging from danzón or mariachi. When Dr. Messier approached me, I immediately overcome by, by the urge to compose a suite for symphonic band inspired by popular Mexican genres. De manera casi natural como en el son, a aparecer los temas de cada movimiento. Y en poco tiempo logré desoriados teniendo la clara idea de que todos deben ser diferentes entre sí. No quería repetir ningún género. Uh, la música escoge al compositor y toma su propio rumbo. Y como era de esperarse, estos movi movimientos fueron conectados entre sí, apareciendo uno en el otro como remisiones de lo anterior, como leves pinceladas en ocasiones escondidos y algunas veces muy expuestos. Little Mexican sweet for wins. Está... <laughs> Está basada en géneros populares y tradicionales de México y en inspirada a árboles mexicanos que han impactado mi vida de algo, alguna manera a los que afero mis recuerdos 
y que además son muy populares en mi país. Hi, my name is Andrew and I'm a sophomore here at MCHS. I'm here to translate. <laughs> Almost naturally, the themes for each movement began to appear and in a short time had developed them all. It was clear to me that each should be different. I did not want to repeat any genre. Music chooses the composer and takes its own course as expected. These movements were connecting with each other one appearing in another as reminiscence of the past, as light brushstrokes, on occasion hidden and at time very exposed. Little Mexican Suite for Winds is based on traditional, tra traditional Mexican musical genres that are very popular in my country, and is inspired by my species of Mexican trees that have been each touched in my life in some way and are embedded in my memory. Okay, I guess it's my turn now. Um, I'm Cesar Cesar Guzman. I'm a junior here at MCHS. Hago with it, El Gigante. Inspirado en el más emblemático árbol de Santa María de Tule en Oaxaca, lleno de colores, texturas y dinámicas, denota una fascinación por el afamado árbol de Tule. Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm a junior at MCHS. Hago uh, with the giant, inspired by the most emblematic tree in Santa María del Tule uh, in Oaxaca. Full of colors, textures, and vitality, it denotes fascination with the famous Arbol de Tule. Ayacuete, el pino mexicano, grande de un más verde que poderoso, lleno de colores cafés, vino a bailar con un tierno bar y a cantar su son aliciente. The Mexican pine, large and powerfully green, full of brown cones, it came to dance a soft waltz and to sing a son aliciente. My name is Daniel Solorio. I'm a senior. It's always so nerve wracking to say in front of the mic. Okay. Saguaro, el cactus. Muy alto y lleno de agua, con espinas y de un color verde, inguadable. Muy cerca de mi ciudad hay una bahía, y a la mitad del camino hay un bosque de saguaros que desde pequeña ha llamado mi atención. Sin duda, este movimiento tiene que ser un danzón, mi género, género favorito de todos los tiempos. Alfonso, I'm a senior, Zahuaro, the cactus, very tall and full of water, with thorns and unparalleled green, a forest of Zahuaro lies midway between my city and the nearby bay, and since I was little, they have captured my attention. Without a doubt, this movement had to be a dance on, my favorite genre of all time. Silvia, con un tronco ancho y rugoso, con sus hojas peliculadamente definidas y de clima tropical, me inspiró totalmente a un delicioso cha-cha-cha, que con el paso del tiempo y de las modulaciones que me llevo inventable y tradicionalmente al mambo. Sería, from a tropical climate with a wide and rough trunk, a, per, a peculiar, well-defined leaves, it totally inspired me to create a delicious cha cha cha, which with time inevitably led me to a traditional mambo by Nuria Jaime Arion. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.
have one more piece. I know it's been a long night, but again, I appreciate you deeply for bearing with us. This is very different, but also similar along the veins of, I think, a great exercise in joy for these people. This is a piece of music that some people in the band have been waiting four years to play. When I first got here, three years ago, <laughs> um, Mrs. Tobin, who we appreciate dearly, uh, is our yeah! uh, Mrs. Tobin, who uh, is our triad advisor, our assistant marching band director, and was helping me basically win the ropes when he first arrived. Uh, basically said, hey, there's, by the way, there's this uh, kid named Gavin. Um, he bought this piece called Slavonic Dances, and he really wants to play it one day. I was like, okay, well, yeah, we'll see. And now here we are, Gavin. Here we are. Uh, I like to theme my concerts. They're not the most co really like well thought out theme, but it's sort of generally this idea, it's on your program, this idea of old to new. Right, there's a lot of music written for other things, now rehashed for band. This is one of them, an epic orchestral transcription, one of the greatest pieces in the orchestral repertoire by Czech composer Antonin Dvorak, um, which is where the Slavonic dances come from, from his, uh, from, um, his home of, uh, of ben Czech, uh, really before Czechoslovakia, but the whole Bohemian region. Um, but then also there's this other thing, right? It's also honestly similar to last year's concert, this idea of beginning anew. It's a new year, we have new faces, people are in new roles, uh, we are undertaking new challenges, new goals, new desires, new dreams, all that stuff, right? And honestly, this year is very special to me because this is, to be frank, the first, like, group of folks that, like, I've known the entire way through, more or less, right? Give or take a little. And so we've been on this journey together, and now we got this piece that Gavin made me do. <laughs> but, and you know, obviously, you know, no, no disrespect at all to the great history that this program has. But this is now truly the beginning of an era of MCHS bands that is ours and ours alone. Nobody else, no expectations, no shadows of anything except what we want it to be. So with that, thank you so much. I give you the MCHS Wind Ensemble and the Slavonic Dances.
Thank you.